Hello friends, today we are going to be looking at how we can download and install PostgreSQL Server and PGAdmin on our Windows computer. If you remember as part of our previous video, we look at the different flavors of SQL. Okay, we talked about the different flavors of database, different flavors of database management systems and PostgreSQL was part of them. So, PostgreSQL is an open source relational database management system. When we say open source, what does that mean? It simply means PostgreSQL is free to use. That means that the source code is available for the public for free use. You can download and install it without paying. Okay? And PostgreSQL is used by many companies as their primary database. For their web applications and this is the more reason that postgresql is a good one for you to learn as a beginner okay now as part of today's video as well we are going to be looking at how to download and install pgadmin now what is pgadmin pgadmin is a graphical user interface which we are going to use to write sql statements to query the postgres uh, database okay so that means that when we install our postgres uh, sql onto our computer we need another uh we need a, a, an interface we need another software which we are going to be writing the statement which is going to be communicating with our postgres sql server so in this video we're going to be downloading both okay let us go into downloading postgres sql now okay guys i'm going to open my chrome uh browser okay go to google and type in download postgresql as you can see download postgresql you can also say for windows so you say that it's going to give the first link usually it gives you with postgresql.org click that now if you see what we have right here we have PostgreSQL version, you have 64-bit windows, you have 32-bit. Now, for 64-bit, which is my computer, so I am I can download version 15. But for those of you that have 32-bit, then that means that you can download only windows, I mean, version 10, okay? So, now you can go to download the installer. Click this download installer right here. Click this link okay now when i down when i click that you can see that i have version 15.1 as part of that i have windows 64 bit right so i can download that here if you are using 32 then you can download this 9.6.24 that's what is being supported at this time as you can see right here okay so now i for my my own computer is 64 so i'm going to click this to download okay now i'm downloading now as you can see on my screen right here it's downloading okay i'll let it finish downloading it's almost done okay now it has finished downloading i can come right here open my download button okay as you can see this is this is it right here then i can double click that then i just have to click yes when i click yes when i click yes sorry it went into my other uh, screen so now i've clicked yes and see what as you can see this is what i have right now so i can go to next okay now it gives me the path where i want to install i want to leave it that way i go to next right here this tells me what is going to in be installing i'm going to uncheck this pg admin for now we are, I, I would like to install that separate okay but if you click on each of these you can see that it says postgre sql database server if you say pg admin 4 it says pg admin 4 is a graphical interface for managing and working with Postgres database servers, you see. 
stack builder you can see all these things right there okay so i'll just click next we are going to install pg admin 4 later so i'll say next i'll leave this this way i'll say next now it's asking me for password so you can just you know type in a password and make sure you remember the password because you are going to be needing that again okay so i go to next i go to next let me quickly come back here now this port 5432 is what postgres the installer has selected for us so typically this is what you see just leave it that way 5432 leave this as it is go to next and then go to next it is going to start installing so let it finish installation after this finish installation then we will go into into installing pg admin 4 all right so now this has finished installation as you can see now i can uncheck this and i will just say finish as you can see that has finished uh installation the next thing we are going to be installing now is pg admin 4. so now let us install pg admin 4. so open your open google on your browser again pg admin you can see pg admin download so it's going to give you the first link pgadmin.org go right there remember we are trying to download for windows and i believe it's still the same approach to download for uh for mac os maybe if i have enough people that uh signifies that they will also like me to have a video for mac os maybe i might also do that but right now we this is for windows that we are concentrating on but i believe it's still the same approach now because my system is windows i'm going to click windows right here okay as you can see pg admin for download pg admin for go to windows i click on windows and also as you can see right here the recent release is on december 20th which is pg admin 4 version 6.18 6.18 okay so i click that to download okay now after you click that it brings you right here and then you need to download the exe file so when i click this okay as you can see right here it's downloading right now okay i'm gonna oh i think this is going pretty fast okay I, we can just wait right here for it to finish downloading so we can install right away okay that has finished downloading i can go to my to my uh folder and as you can see right here to my download uh folder this is pg admin 4 i double click okay and as i double click that opens up in my other uh, window which i have right here then i can say install for me only this is recommended i can just select that it opens this on my other window which i've dragged here i click next okay i accept the agreement take some time to to go over the the agreement accept the agreement okay then the location i keep it as that location pg admin 4 don't create a start menu folder uh yeah i can just leave that unchecked go to the next one install okay now it is uh it is installing i'm gonna pause the video and then come back when it's finished installation okay okay guys this has finished installation now let us click finish now this has finished installation okay now let us see let us open pg admin to see what we are if we actually install something okay so i go to my start bar so i can have as you can see i have pg admin right here on the top but if you don't have that you can just come to your search area and just type pg admin you know type pg admin as you can see i already have that right here then i can click to open that is opening in my other screen which i've dragged right here okay i'm gonna close down this so now it is opening up so i just want to show you guys the interface just to be just to show you that we have downloaded and we have installed it and then in the next video we are going to be really digging into the 
interface and then installing the data set we are going to be using as part of these uh, series this lecture series where i'll be teaching you the different sql statements and you know how you build queries how you query the database how you do some data analysis based on the question you have been asked we're going to be using you know the dvd rental uh database for that but we are just doing some setup right here okay so this is still opening up right now awesome this has opened in my other screen i'm gonna drag it right here okay good so as you guys can see this has opened up right here let me make it bigger and then it is as it is requesting for the password remember the password that you created when you installed the postgres remember what is going on right here guys you have we first of all installed postgres right as a postgres server and then now we installed pg admin which is going to be communicating with the postgres server so the password we created before that is what we are going to be using right here to connect so it says this is required to unlock saved password passwords and reconnect to the database servers okay because we have the master password that was what we created before i'm going to enter that click okay as you can see that has allowed me in now i can look at my servers you know my postgres server but we are going to be you know looking more into these i think this is also asking me for password let me type in the password to get into the servers okay as you can see i entered the password then i got into the servers but we are going to be looking more into this also in our next video where we are going to be uh uploading the the database the data set we are going to be using take note here that i'm having postgre sql 14 and 15 right here and that is because I'd previously installed Postgre SQL 14 on my computer. That is why this is showing 14. But if you remember that the Postgres that we just installed right now uh, was Postgres 15, right? It was just 15 that we just installed right now. So that is that is why we have 15 here. But previously I had you know did some project that I installed postgres sql 14 which is why i have 14 right here okay so if i click this also right now you see it's also asking me for password okay so i will type in my same password and that is because when i created postgres sql 14 it was the same password i used that i also used for this postgres sql 15 so but in your own case if you don't have if you don't already have postgres on your on your system but you just installed this one you just installed this one that we just downloaded together which is postgres 14 15 then you should only be seeing 15 in your own pg admin okay but like i said because i'd already installed 14 previously of postgres that's why i'm saying 14 and 15 here because i'd installed 14 previously and right now as in this video i installed 15 that is why I'm saying both of them right here, okay? But in your own case, if you have never installed Postgres on your system, you should only be seeing 15 right here. And I hope that uh, that clarifies everything, right? All right.